Let x be an exponential random variable with parameter lambda. What is the distribution of y, which is the floor of x? Well, there are two random variables in this problem. One is x, the other is y. So let's begin by writing down the probability density function of x. And since, again, there are two random variables, I'll use the subscript capital X to denote the probability density function of X. Lambda E to the minus lambda X because it is exponential and that is for X greater than zero. How about Y? Y is the floor of X and in this particular case the floor of X will be a discrete random variable. Now why will it be a discrete random variable? Well the answer to that is seen in a few examples. If the x that comes from this exponential distribution happens to be for example 2.6, what is the floor of 2.6? It's 2. If the x that comes from the exponential distribution is a 12.8, What's the floor of 12.8? It's 12. So y turns out to be discrete and it turns out to be discrete with a support which is the non-negative integers y equals 0, 1, 2, etc. So since it is a discrete random variable we want to find its probability mass function and f sub capital Y of Y will be its probability mass function. Remember this is a probability density function because X is continuous. This is a probability mass function because Y is discrete. Now for discrete random variables the interpretation of that probability mass function is the probability that the random variable Y assumes the value little y. How do we get a particular value y with this relationship? Well, let's just come up with an, a, an instance. Let's say y equals 5. How can you get y to be 5? And the answer is any value that is between 5 and just short of 6, when you take the floor of it, will give you a 5. So to get a y, on the other hand, means you want to get any value between y and y plus 1 and the probability of that will be the integral from y to y plus 1 of the probability density function of x which is lambda e to the minus lambda x dx and that's how you calculate that probability. So the integral of this quantity right here is going to be minus e to the minus lambda x and that is evaluated from y up to y plus 1 when you plug in y plus 1 you get minus e to the minus lambda times y plus 1 and when you plug in y you get positive e to the minus lambda y. One thing that can be factored out of both of these terms is an e to the minus lambda y and what is left? Well in this case a 1 is left over and in this particular case a negative e to the minus lambda power. Finally if we put this term first 1 minus e to the minus lambda and then multiply that I'm going to write this second term in kind of an unusual fashion e to the negative lambda raised to the y power there is the probability mass function of y. Does this look familiar? Have we encountered in the past a discrete random variable whose support is the non-negative integers and furthermore is some number and this number lies between 0 and 1 multiplied by 1 minus that number raised to the y power 
and you may recognize that as the geometric distribution. Now notice it is geometric with a lowercase g and that is because its support begins at zero and this right here played the role of p which was the parameter of the distribution so the parameter here is 1 minus e to the minus lambda. So this particular example provides an interesting link between the two distributions that have the memoryless properly, property, mainly the exponential distribution and the geometric distribution, and they are linked through this floor function.